So this is section uh, 3.12, and we're going to talk about what's called the quadratic formula. You know, we've been solving stuff like, I don't know, 2x squared plus, uh, sorry, I'll erase that for a sec, 2x squared plus, I don't know, like 6x plus 5 equals 0. And we've been doing this by, by factoring, but uh, there is another way to solve them. And it's called the, called the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is just a formula that we use. You can write it down in your notes for the test and use it. Um, so you really just know how to, need to know how to use it. Um, that basically solves quadratics for us. And here's, here's what the quadratic formula says. Um, if I have an equation that has an x squared, you know, and, and plus an x or something like that, and it's equal to zero in it. So if I have an equation that's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, Sorry about that. Um, so if I have an equation in this form where a, b, a, b, and c are just numbers, then x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, the whole thing divided by 2 times a. So this is a little bit of a, of a bear to use, but it always works like it always gives us our answers. So let me take an example that's a little simpler than this one. We'll come back to this one. How about something like x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0. Now, if I was going to solve that by factoring, I could just factor it. I could go like what multiplies the negative 12 adds to negative 1. Boom, 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 get my answer. Or if I want to use the quadratic formula for it, notice that a is the value that's with the x squared. So since there's nothing written here, this is a 1. It's like 1 times x squared. There's my a values, just 1. The x is not in it. It's just a number, just the 1. And if I look at my b value, in this case, it's negative 1. And my c is negative 12. So again, um, my b is negative 1, my c is negative 12. Now all I have to do is plug those into the equation. So negative 1 goes in the b spot. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c c is negative 12, all over 2 times a, a is 1. And so notice I didn't put x's in here at all. It's just the coefficients. It's just the numbers. So then now what I can do is x is equal to these things. So now I'm going to do some arithmetic. Negative negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 12. A negative times a negative is positive. 4 times 12 is 48. And that whole thing is over 2 times 1, which is 2. So a couple things that I want you to, uh, to notice is like a negative negative here. And then we're squaring the negative here. When you go to square a negative on your calculator, make sure you do it this way. Right? Like the negative completely inside the squaring. Um, so let's keep going. We're not done yet. 1 plus or minus, 1 plus 48 is 49, and that's over 2. Cool, square root of 49, I do that on my calculator, or, or I just know it, it's 7. So this is now 1 plus or minus 7 over 2. All right, now that's interesting because um, the plus or minus splits it into two answers. It is literally plus or minus. Uh, 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 over 2 is 4. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So my answers are 4 and negative 3. Cool. All right. Uh, let me erase and then I'll do another answer. I'm just going to clear. I'm just going to clear all and we'll do another one. So how about if I had 12x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. 
All right, same thing. So if I look at this, there's my A value, there's my B value, and there's my C value. So let me plug them in. 4 is B, so negative 4, plus or minus the square root. B is 4, 4 squared, minus, that's always a 4. A is, one, uh, a is 12, C is negative 1, all over 2 times A, A is 12. And now I'm going to just do a little arithmetic here. I could use my calculator, or I could go negative 4, plus or minus, 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times 12 times negative 1 would be positive 48. All over 2 times 12 is 24. Okay, I'll keep going from here. Negative 4 uh, plus or minus 16 plus 48 is 64. Yeah. All over 24. The square root of 64 is 8. So negative 4 plus or minus 8 over 24. And now remember, plus or minus cuts it into two spots. So negative 4 plus 8 over 24 and negative 4 minus 8 over 24. So negative 4 plus 8 is negative 4. Uh, negative 4 over 24. That's one. Oh, this is a positive 4. That's 1 sixth. Reduces to 1 sixth. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is negative 12 or 24, negative 1 half. So my answers are uh, negative 1 half and 1 6. So the answers aren't always going to be like pretty numbers like this. So let's do another one. Let's say uh, something like... Do, 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 do. Give me a second and I'll come up with one. Oh, this one. Um, 2x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. That's an ugly 0. And I want to solve it, so I'm going to use quick check formula. Negative b plus or minus 4ac squared minus 4ac over 2a. There's my a value. My b value is negative 1. My c value is negative 4. So b is negative 1. So negative, negative 1, plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared. Minus 4 times a is 2, times c is negative 4, all over 2 times a. Okay, keep going from here. Negative, negative 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Uh, negative 4 times 2 times negative 4, 16 is 32. So plus 32, that's all over 4. So I have 1 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 4. Now, square root of 33 is not going to give me any pretty answers. So let me bring up a calculator. And notice that the things that I want to evaluate, sorry, the things that I want to evaluate there are two cases, the plus and minus case here. So 1 plus square root of 33 divided by 4, and 1 minus the square root of 33 divided by 4. So if I use my calculator for that, I can have, let's see, 1 plus the square root of 33. Whoops. The square root of 33. equals that. I want to divide that by 4. So one of my answers is about 1.69. All right, let's go out three decimal places. 1.686. That was the plus case. And my other one is the minus case. So uh, 1 minus the square root of 33. And that gets divided by 4 as well. About negative 1.186. So there we go. That's uh, I can get these decimal approximations. I could not have factored that. Everything before this I could have factored. I couldn't have factored that to get an answer. So let me try one 
more here just to see what see what I can come up with. What if I had um, 3x squared plus 2x plus 100 equals 0. So remember my quadratic equation, negative b through minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. a is 3, b is 2, c is 100. So let me plug them in. Uh, negative 2, that's b, plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, my, uh, squared, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. And again, all I do is plugging in the a, b, and c values into the quadratic formula. Again, this is a really good thing to put into notes. You can refer to it during the test. Uh, negative 2 plus or minus 2 squared is 4. And that's minus 4 times 3 is 12, times 100 is 1,200 over 6. So I get negative 2 plus or minus 4 minus 1,200 would be negative 1196 over 6. Look, I'm going square root of a negative here. That's actually going to give me some trouble. So let me, let me try that on my calculator. I'm just going to go the square root of negative 1196. And one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to give me an error, non-real answer, or if I was in a different mode, it would give me something that has an I in it. In either case, there's no solution to this. So if you end up at a point where you're taking the square root of a negative, that means there's no solution. Like there's no x value I can plug into this that would make this left hand side equal zero. All right, uh, give a little practice in with that um, quadratic formula. You have next week no new lectures at all. Just next week to prep for that uh, midterm that we have. All right, message me if you have questions.